Terry Fox was only 18 when he was diagnosed with bone cancer in 1977, and had to have his right leg amputated. He decided to run across Canada to raise money to fight the disease. Starting in the east, Fox ran 40 kilometers every day with an artificial leg. After 143 days of running, Fox was forced to stop because the cancer had spread to his lungs. He had already raised more than a million dollars. Terry Fox has definitely got lots of attention. He it is strictly because he is one of Canada's true heroes. So we are very very lucky. When you're walking through the maze, there is 11 poles. What you do is you stand in front of the pole, answer the question, and it will tell you to turn left or right. And all the first que- questions are Terry Fox based. Terry's brother Daryl Fox was involved in the plans to create the large maze in Terry's honor. Getting through the maze takes up to 40 minutes. Clem says a portion of their maze ticket sales were donated to the Terry Fox Foundation, which has raised more than 400 million U.S. dollars for cancer research. I think that almost everyone has unfortunately been touched with cancer, and.、Uh, You know, if you think back on what Terry Fox did, he ran all these marathons. He actually only used nine pair of shoes. I found out from Daryl, and he did that every day. He woke up and would do another marathon. Clem says they have planted a maze every year for 17 years. Each year, they partner with a different organization to develop a theme and an image for the paths. Plans to design and plant the 12-acre maze started roughly two years ago, in advance of the 35th anniversary of Fox's Marathon of Hope. The maze and the legacy that it aims to honor has clearly struck a chord with local residents. Well, my mother died of cancer, so、um, that's been part of our family. Grandparents have died of it, and so Terry Fox is just an example of courage, and we want to support the cancer campaign. The chili wet corn maze was one of the first mazes in Canada. It has welcomed visitors from all over the world. More than 1,000 visitors attempt to navigate the maze each weekend during the fall until the corn is harvested for cattle feed.